Hi guys, hello. So I am currently grooming Benny so that I can go on my date. You can see I am done. My hair is done, my makeup is done. I don't really put on much makeup, but it always freaks me out to have to do it because I don't know a lot about makeup, but I put on what makes me feel comfortable and confident and that's all that matters. Um, so I feel like I'm gonna throw up right now. <laughs> uh, I'm really, really nervous, but I feel confident. Um, I have, you know, I have this super wonder dog with me, which, you know, does make it actually a little bit more nerve wracking in a way because it's having a dog and, you know, managing that. Benny has been dealing with, he's got some food allergy issues, so he's on a, a steroid right now that's making him drink a lot and feel a little bit off. And so, you know, he's not quite feeling his best right now and he's fine to work. Um, but he's got to be on the steroid because we're trying to figure out what foods he's allergic to. And he keeps having these ear infections over and over again. And it's just really terrible to see how much, you know, he's suffering with that. So, um, oops, <laughs> that was a bad cut. I don't usually cut his feet like this, but I usually cut them while he's laying down but I'm running a little late. I don't know how that happened when I started so early, but maybe I needed to have gone faster. I don't know. But the dogs are fed. I just have to, my teeth are brushed. I just have to finish up Benny, put Dash and Leilani in her crate, put Benny's harness on to drive myself there. I wanna, get my own drink and be seated by the time he gets there. So we'll see if he gets there early. Then he's doing a lot more panting because of this uh, steroid. So it's also really hot and humid out right now. Nervous, but excited, but like, I don't know, all the feelings, I guess. So I wanted to leave here soon. I wanted to get there at 10 after, to leave, to get there at 10 after, I would have to leave here at five till and it is 16 till right now. So I am on track to get out of the door. And the reason I'm getting leaving to get there ahead of time, good boy, is because I really, really want to just not have to worry about, like it's a lot of work to actually pay for something with Benny because I have my backpack and just managing it all can be a lot. And doing that when I'm nervous, when I just met somebody, feels really nervous. nervous. I'm worried because I've really used up a lot of energy so far today. Good boy, use your good. The way I'm looking at this date is just, I'm just going and gonna have fun with friend. And if he comes, if it becomes more than that, it becomes more than that. If it doesn't, that's fine too, you know, like just being happy with whatever it turns out to be is what I'm looking for. So, you know, that's partly my mindset. And as a Christian, I believe Jesus is walking with me. So I'm going to lean into him because I'm super nervous. So this is my outfit. And, you know, we're going for coffee, so I'm wearing jeans. We're going to see you later. So I'm 10 minutes late from where I wanted to be, which means I'm still or going to be early, kind of. <laughs> I'm going to be early for my date, but I am shaking. I'm trying not to throw up. I'm so glad I have this dog with me. I'm sweating like crazy, but hopefully I still look presentable when I get there. <laughs> oh, I don't know the curl from the, the curls going out of my hair, but it is what it is. I'm just going to be me. <laughs> And yeah, I'm gonna try to do breathing exercises on the way there. See you guys later. Probably not till the end of the date. Bye. Waiting, so nervous. Hey guys, I got home from my date. I uh, had coffee, which really was, I had iced tea and he had soda. And 
we talked for two hours and we started talking at 5 30 so it was way past dinner time when he finally said hey i'm hungry and i was completely oblivious to the time and he said do you want to go grab something to eat so our date continued and we went to a restaurant and uh, it was really really nice he ended up getting my meal for me which was really nice and I had a nice time. I am glad that I did this. I'm glad that I finally have gone on a date for the first time since my marriage ended and it's been three years to today and I, I've said it that I believe that today is good for new beginnings and I mean that personally. I don't know what's going to happen with this guy. I don't know if we're going to, you know, be a dating couple I that's too complicated for me to answer right this minute uh, but I do know that I'm happy that I got this under my belt because I was so nervous I was actually shaking I was so nervous and I think it showed me that doing this is not as intimidating as I thought it was and I think that dating is actually fun like I had a good time whether or not this guy and I continued dating is really immaterial because I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the conversation. I enjoyed the company. I enjoyed being out with somebody I didn't know and getting to know them and seeing what did I see in them that I want in a partner and what did I see in them that I was a little bit concerned about and, you know, just having a good time and really just enjoying that this is part of my life now. And, you know, I was so unhappy for such a long time and it just feels good to be happy in myself and not feel like my happiness today depends on how this date ends up like turning into in the future like i am present in the moment i enjoyed it in the moment and i'm gonna have to process and just kind of like think through the day and think through whether this is something that i want long term i think you know i was really overwhelmed because there was like it was just a lot it was a lot to take in it was a lot to take in um because it's something i haven't done in such a long time and i was really i pushed myself way further than i um, should have probably if I had been in tune with my body and took a second when he asked me if I wanted to go out to eat I think that I would have probably said no because of how I was feeling you know I did want to continue the day because I wanted to get to know him more I wanted to see you know how things went on as the, over the course of the night and that's why I did it that's why I kept talking to him and went out to dinner um, and, but if I had been thinking of myself, I think that I would have said, you know what, I am done. Um, I have had a while to rest. I've been home for a little bit. So that's why I'm not, I was just, when I got in the car, I was just dazed. I was just checked out. Usually I always listen to audiobook in the car, but I got home and I was like, whoa, I, I didn't even listen to anything. I just checked out the whole time. And I think it just is so much to process that my brain kind of overloaded. Um, but you know what? I think that's okay. Like, it's okay for me to not know what I want to do right this minute. Yes, I was asked on a second date. Yes, you know, I think this guy is into me. And that feels really good. Like it felt good to go on a date and have somebody be really interested and think that they actually want to, you know, continue getting to know me. Like that feels really good. And, you know, the way that this guy was looking at me when I was talking, I don't know the last time that a man looked at me that way when I was having a conversation with him. And it felt really good to be just appreciated and it felt really good to have somebody be so considerate and to be so thoughtful and those things were all really really nice and so you know as a date <laughs> I think that it went really well uh, I think that there are 
you know, nuances to any relationship or any connection. And I think that there are things that need to be there. It can't just be, um, oh yeah, we align on all the important things, but maybe, you know, certain things are missing. Like, I feel that I'm not going to settle. I'm not going to lower my standards of what I want because I'm concerned that I won't find what I want. And I'm not saying this about the specific man because I don't know. Like, I really still don't know what I think for sure. I, I think that I still want to process it and I'm going to do that tomorrow when I can have a fresh brain and think clearer. So, um, but I wanted to let you guys know that it was good. It ended up being coffee that went into a day, which was just so funny because I don't think I really thought that that was going to happen. So then I didn't think about, oh my gosh, what, what happens when he goes to try to pay for the check? And, you know, I'm not somebody that likes to really, you know, argue over it. Like I'm happy paying for my part. Yeah, it's a date, but we don't really know each other and, and, and it's okay. Like I'm happy to pay for my part, but I was really, really thankful. Like I thought it was a really nice gesture for him to do that. And it was really thoughtful and kind. And, you know, he was really great about Benny. He completely ignored my service dog the entire time. He saw Benny as my secret service kind of thing, like present, but to be ignored. And so he ignored Benny. And I really appreciated that because you know, a lot of times when people focus on my service dog, it becomes more about the dog and less about me. And while my dog is amazing and incredible, I want somebody to see me for me. Benny is, when it comes down to it, he is an assistive device and he is what helps me live my life. I wouldn't have him in my life if I didn't need something to help me to live my life. And while, yeah, a separate and apart, he is a wonderful, amazing dog and he's fun and, and all of those things. However, I would rather somebody see me first and invest in me first. Yeah. So that was my date. Uh, my migraine did get worse when I came home. After I was home for a little bit, it was not as bad as I expected though. So I'm really, really thankful for that. I am headed to bed because tomorrow I have IV infusions for my migraine. And that was another thing that I came up on the date was trying to navigate how much to tell somebody without overwhelming them with the reality of my life. And also, you know, not because I'm a person that likes to be very honest and, you know, authentic, but I don't want somebody to get freaked out by the reality uh, because I, you know, I don't want to just dump my stuff on somebody. That's not you know, why I'm doing this. So it's, you know, it's kind of like this weird dance. I was talking to a person that was really open and sharing their own stuff. So that's why I think that it was easy. I felt easy for me to share. And it was really cool. He looked up, you know, what Meniere's disease was about because he didn't know what it was. And to have somebody look up stuff about me that I had shared, to show that he cared and was considerate. And after I got home, he texted me and said, hey, thank you so much. And he sent me a picture of his dogs and how happy they were to see him. And it just was kind of a neat thing that it wasn't just like we left and it was, you know, he disappeared. You know, he actually wrote me right away. And that was really thoughtful and kind. And I, I genuinely appreciated it. So yeah, like first date after being my marriage ended in the books, that feels really good and it feels like a win and I had fun and that was the whole point. And I think that's, that's important to remember, especially when you go on first dates is that obviously it's not always going to end up where the person is somebody that you end up with. Um, maybe it is, but if it isn't, it's still important to be present and to have fun and to just enjoy it. So that's what I did. I embraced the moment and I'm not worried about what's going to happen because I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy right now. Guys, if you are a person with disability or chronic illness, or maybe you don't have those things at all, but you have been on first dates, I want to hear about your first date experiences, whether it be first date 
period or maybe first days after getting a divorce, I'd really love to hear what your experiences are because I know that they can be really scary and uncomfortable, but I love to hear what that's about. I am Kelly. Remember, you are not alone. Go find your incredible anyway. Love you guys. Bye. I'm just having a good time, having a bad day, yeah. A real good morning.